Hello, my name is Steve Matthews. I'm an industrial TSA in Cisco, and I'm with my colleague Georgi X, from, who's also at, uh, from Cisco as a security TSA. Uh, in this video, we want to look at how Cisco CyberVision, which is a tool designed specifically for the operational domain of a customer, um, can can automate an incident response using uh, SecureX orchestration, and, uh, and how that can provide extra value um, in providing visibility of what's going on at that particular layer in the factory. So uh, let's first of all look at what secure what CyberVision is, uh, and so CyberVision is specifically a tool that's designed for the indus for industrial uh, operational networks. Um, it's designed to do a number of features. It provides visibility uh, on assets, on vulnerabilities and risk. It provides information on device modifications that have changed. Uh, communications between, between different devices and also provides a small based threat detection so, so that you can see if there's been any vulnerabilities attacked within your operational domain. Um, it's fully integrated into Cisco's um, security stack of other platforms. And as you can see, it's it's already involved with, uh, with identity services engine and it can do segmentation or it can drive segmentation policies. It's within Stealth Watch, it's within Firepower. Here specifically, we're gonna look at secure act integration uh, for incident raising and how those incidents can be automated using secure X orchestration. So within um, CyberVision's um, GUI, you can see that if you have certain kinds of events that are critical, we can then promote them to an incident with SecureX. And if that incident is promoted, we can then drive uh, some orchestration actions on. So we're gonna look at a specific incident um, that, that's driven this kind of behavior. And we're gonna drive um, orchestration into WebEx teams based upon that incident. Um, so if we have a, a screenshot of uh, CyberVision console, you can see this is the event log as, uh, as seen by the system. And if we focus on the critical events on the left hand side, you can see these are events that really probably shouldn't be happening in your operational network. So here, very specifically, I'm going to look at control system events, um, which is one of those categories. And control system events are important because it shows that somebody has stopped or started one of your industrial processes. And this should only happen uh, based upon scheduled activity. So if this happens outside of that, it's potentially malicious activity uh, and needs certainly to be investigated. Uh, so in this example, uh, if I drill into those critical events for control system ev events, you can see there's been a stop CPU command detected. This is basically a command from an external IP address. that's a public address, as you can see, uh, and that address has been driving uh, a stop command directly into a PLC on a production line. Clearly, this should probably not happen. So this is something that we would you know, raise as an incident into SecureX uh, and is the one we're going to use to actually drive some orchestration events from. So if we drill into the actual details, all these, all the details in this uh, event log will be passed across to SecureX and you can see there's a report to SecureX button. Um, if we then proceed re to report it on the, on the other side, effectively inside SecureX, we'll then get that information that we can then do a number of different activities upon. But one of them is to provide information into the orchestration component with SecureX to, to drive other, you know, acceleration and behavior. Here, what we're actually gonna do is um, take that event uh, and simply drive it uh, into WebEx teams and provide visibility of that incident that's happened down in the operational domain, um, presumably for some SOC or operational teams to investigate. Thank you very much, Steve. So let me visit the CyberVision Graphical User Interface. Actually, let me visit the events page and uh, as we see here, we have uh, several critical events, actually signature-based detections. So if we, if we click here, you see the different uh, signature alerts. And uh, these are uh, um, the parameters which are connected to one single incident. And here you can see the message, which is connected to this uh, um, signature, actually snort-based uh, alert. And uh, if we wanted to analyze even deeper, we can push this button, report SecureX. And here we can uh, add a note like test. And if we did so, we can see the successful event reported uh, to SecureX. 
So let me visit Securex. Actually, this is the incident uh, page when we can see that here we have a cyber vision uh, alert and here the, we can see the observables which are connected to this given uh, incident and here you can see the timeline, sightings uh, and uh, if we click here investigate incident it goes to this page which uh, actually shows the connection uh, among different type of uh, uh, targets. Here we have two targets and one uh, IOC which is the malicious IP address. And if we wanted to see the verdicts, these are also possible to see uh, even from uh, OpenDNS or Umbrella and uh, AMP uh, which is a, a secure endpoint uh, based uh, global intelligence information. So uh, we created a workflow which actually reports to WebEx Teams room uh, a given uh, IPS uh, alert from uh, Snort. So in this case, this uh, CyberVision workflow can be scheduled. In this case, I have uh, five minutes uh, um, scheduling. And uh, this workflow um, first uh, uh, generates uh, an access token, calculates uh, five minutes, and uh, we'll do uh, a search uh, for cyber vision incidents in uh, threat response. Uh, and if, we, if it is, was uh, successful, we will continue the workflow. If uh, it, it failed, uh, we, uh, we have to finish this workflow. If we have uh, a meaningful uh, content from this uh, threat response, we can convert uh, these incidents into a table and we can create a loop, uh, a, a for each loop, and uh, going through all of these um, incidents one by one and uh, sending into a given room. And we can finish uh, the workflow. So let me visit uh, the cyber vision uh, workflow, which uh, actually is running in the, the, in the orchestration um, application of uh, Securex. So if we Running this uh, workflow, actually, which is, which is quite uh, the same what we already discussed. Uh, let me run it. I don't want to wait five minutes. And if we are running, you can see this action is really color coded. And if we are finished uh, this uh, workflow, you see uh, we have a successful atomic action on the WebEx Teams uh, uh, post message to room as well. So if we visit uh, the WebEx Teams, we see here we have a, a new event, like a new cyber uh, vision incident, which uh, actually is showing all of these parameters, what we already discussed, uh, who was the, uh, the admin and what was the notes and what happened. So thank you very much.